Hey guys, how you doing? Tom's here again. On this video, I kind of wanted to just touch on the subject of malls, right, in the Philippines. And we're kind of lucky where we're at, you know, like in, in Manila, um, Quezon City, uh, where we're actually pr very close to like three different malls, right? Like three different, you know, there's SM Mall, there's a Robinson's Mall, and there's a Ayala, you know, called Ayala Terraces because there's an exterior section of it, you know, like a garden section. It's kind of nice, actually, and there's some food vendors in there, but of course there's restaurants within the mall, and some of them are accessible right from outside, right from the garden area, you know, the terrace area. So it's pretty cool. And... Um, that's actually the one that's really, you know, the closest to us. And, you know, we go there frequently. Um, and we go to uh, the grocery store within the, uh, you know, Ayala Terrace is, is uh, pure gold. Um, of course, SM has their own grocery store. And they have Hypermart at the SM as well. Hypermart's almost like a Walmart, you know what I mean? They still have other things, not just food, you know. And and I've seen foreign things there, man. I've seen stuff that normally you're only going to see at SNR or Landers. I've seen it at Hypermart, like yogurt, for example, you know, this Australian Greek yogurt, you know. And uh, and, and there's there's a few other things, but but it's still not it's not a replacement for uh, SNR <laughs> or Landers, you know. But I mean, it's kind of nice, you know. Um, but as far as I can tell, okay, the difference is I've been here for a while and we've been to all three of them, you know, I, I probably haven't been to Robinson's as nearly as much as the other two. Um, I've been to Robinson's in the past in other cities when I was visiting here, like in Dumaguete, there's a Robinson. That's like really the only mall I think in this, in Dumaguete. Now Cebu has the Ayala mall, but that's like. That's a big mall, you know what I mean? It's not like this Ayala Terraces, you know, the, this is sort of on the small side compared to like, you know, the Ayala Mall in Cebu City. <laughs> um, that's kind of like one of the bigger malls in the country, you know. Um, but, but what I can tell is that, you know, SM is a little more sort of high end, right? You know, like with the department stores and all that stuff. There's a lot of good restaurants in SM, you know, more so than I would say the other malls. You know, I mean, there's just a lot of not just good, you know, like I'm not saying they're high end restaurants, but just good restaurants. And there's more of them. There's even like a food court area on the lower level where there's little vendors, you know, kiosks of different kinds of foods and juices and drinks and stuff like that. Right. At SM. And um so that's, it's good for that. You know, it's good for food, definitely, you know. Um, but you'll find, and you'll find the franchises there, but you'll also find the fran some fran a lot of the main franchises in Ayala Terraces. And there's a lot of good deals in Ayala Terraces, you know what I mean? Like there's like thrift stores even, you know, there's a couple thrift stores we've been to. And stuff where you know clothes is you could get real cheap clothes you know 150 pesos or 100 pesos you know for a shirt or shorts or something right like you know some of the guys call them those what do they call them is there, I mean they're used clothes right you know that they're used but they're not that I okay yo okay, whatever the hell they call it you know because they 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 have those here in Manila you know but this isn't that per se you know what I mean it's just like a segment a segment of the store half of it maybe has like that you know sort of used clothing right and uh, you know but so it's very very um, affordable you know um, but even there's like appliance you know, there's like this other place that had appliances and furniture and stuff like that and it was like discount you know what I mean it wasn't like the retail you know what i mean so it was kind of so it's really good for that stuff you know i like this on terraces and they got good restaurants there too 
And they've got, like I said, that outdoor section, which is kind of nice. And I think it's about three or four floors, I want to say, up, up and down, you know, total. Um, and SM is pretty much the same, but SM's bigger, you know, like just bigger. Like you, you walk from one end to the other or around, it's a lot more bigger, you know, than, than this, the terraces are, you know. Um, and I think Robinson's, from what I noticed, it's about three floors, I believe, you know, three total floors. And it's sort of in between, right? Like it seems like it might be a little bigger than Ayala, but then smaller than SM, you know. But Robinson's, I would think, also has better prices, you know what I mean, like than SM, you know, like little, even with grocery stores and stuff like that that they have, probably a little bit, a little cheaper than the SM grocery stores and stuff. Um, but I like Pure Gold. You know, we like that. We go there. We go mostly. We go there. You know, for our groceries. I mean, in between, when we run, you know, when we're we we buy the bulk of our meats and all that at S and R. Okay. You know, just a lot of you know eating, and we stock up on fruits and all that and vegetables also, right? But you know, at some point, we only go there like. We get enough meat for like three weeks, you know. So we only go there about every three weeks. It used to be two weeks, and then now we sort of, you know, it, it seems like it lasts longer. So we go about every three weeks to SNR. But in between that time, you know, you run out of little small things, little staples and stuff like that. So then we wind up going to pure gold or whatever, usually, you know. Um, oh, and but I will say. Although, from what I understand, Robinsons, I think it's Robinsons or Ayala, they're gonna they're opening up a bowling alley also. But right now, SM has a bowling center, which is pretty cool. And uh, and I've been we've been to I've seen uh, there's one at SM North Etza, you know that's like and then there's one right where we're at. And uh, actually, the one that's where we're at has more like ping pong tables. And stuff like that, but the SM North that's the one has more, I think, bowling lanes, you know. Um, but but yeah, it's pretty cool. We've been over there a couple times, you know, and we actually bowled last time. The other times we played ping pong, we shoot the basketball, and you know, see how many shots you can make in a certain amount of time. And then there's uh, there's that the the boxing that the the boxing bag, you know, the it's like a speed bag looking thing that drops down you put the token in drops down then you just hit it as hard as you can you know and you see what your score is or whatever um i i do that you know i, I did that a couple times you know for fun you know and uh and ping pong i like a lot and uh and the girls like it too you know and uh there's foosball there there's archery i haven't done that yet next time we go we're doing the archery they got like six or seven targets you know each person gets their own target you know you can't like share a target but you know it's very reasonable you know all this stuff over there the bowling everything's nothing's like really expensive you know like the u.s or whatever you know can, is starting to get or whatever um so they, so it's pretty fun you know um but just so you know with bowling and they do have their they do rent shoes so you know you don't have to have your own shoes, although I do have my own shoes, but they do rent shoes there, and they're not bad, you know, they're kind of like, they almost look like the old school bowling shoes, you know what I mean, but they fit, you know, you get the right, you know, size 10 or whatever for me, and, you know, they, they fit, and, uh, but the balls are like, they're not all sort of marked with weight, most of them are, but they're like small, medium, and then I'm assuming they have large, even though when we went, there was no large balls, <laughs> And so the small ones are like six, to, you know, pounds or whatever, eight pounds maybe. And then medium, I think, is like 10 pounds and then maybe 12. I don't know. I Although I didn't see any 12s. And then I would assume if they had large, it would be like, you know, 13, 14, 15 pounds. But I swear to God, I didn't see any there, you know. So I actually used a 10-pound ball, you know, because that was like the biggest one they had, you know. And it fit my hand good and everything. And. I think I bowled, we bowled two games, and I bowled like a 129 and a 124 or something like that, or 126, something like that. 
So not bad for it not having bowled in like five years at least. You know, it's been at least five years since I bowled. And, you know, of course, not using my ball. I used to have my own ball and stuff like that. And, and I wasn't, I didn't bring my shoes either because I didn't know for sure if we were going to bowl. So I don't want to be carrying around shoes, you know, if we couldn't get a lane, you know. We went there in the day, though. We went right when, after they opened, like 12, 1 o'clock. And I think it was, what day was it? Ugh. I think it doesn't really matter. It might have even been, was it last Friday or something? Or Thursday? But when you go at that time, you know, and the kids are still in school and all that, it's a good time to go, man. I mean, we had our run of the place pretty much. We were like the only ones bowling. I think there was one other lane way down, you know, at the other end that was bowling. And then plenty of ping pong tables available, plenty of everything. You know, it was pretty nice. So, you know, we, we go there. We, we'll spend a couple hours there, you know. Um, but it's fun, you know. Um but um, anyway, I, I would say, so that's that's what's cool. But like I said, I think some of these other malls are realizing that those places are popular, you know, because it's filled with Filipinos, man. It's not like I'm looking at them. There was hardly any Westerners there. I don't think I saw any. I don't know if I saw any Westerners there, maybe one, you know, because it wasn't that crowded to begin with. But I mean, but, you know, Filipinos like bowling, man. You know, it's not just an American thing. And pool, too. You know, billiards. They got pool table, ping pong, like I said, you know, foosball, the basketball thing. They got darts. They got usually two dart, electronic dart boards, uh, you know. And they got um, some of those massage chairs, too, where, you you know, you put a token in and you lay there, and, you know, for 10 minutes or whatever it is, you know, you get massaged in the chair, you know, um, vibrating chair or whatever. So... But anyway, so I just wanted to give you a little uh, information about this, you know. Um, so obviously there's some stuff that's good for to go to SM for. But then on a day-to-day, -day, you know, you're living on a budget and stuff. And, you know, you want to maybe get a good deal on something once in a while. <laughs> you know, on certain things. That you, might, you know, we go to Ayala, right, or Robinson's, you know. Um, so anyway, that's my little input about the, the malls here. Um, of course, the Mall of Asia, which is right near Manila Bay, that's the biggest mall in the Philippines since they added that IKEA. Before they added the IKEA, it was actually SM North Edsa, I believe, was the biggest mall, you know. Um, anyway, just for your information. So. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And have a great day. I'll see you later.